Good morning. I'm glad you have tuned in this morning. Hopefully you're either getting ready to or have tuned into the Bible study on Revelation. Our reading for today shows us how important it is that we sometimes are our own worst enemy, even as Christians. James 1.14, our Lord's half-brother says, But each one is tempted when he is carried away and enticed by his own lust. James nails it. There is a word that leaves a nasty taste in my mouth just to say it, and that is lust. Say that with me, lust. For is that not what drives most every sin we fall into? It is like quicksand. Lust is to have an overpowering desire for something or someone else that's not yours. James, our Lord's half-brother, is hard-hitting on this point. I think it might be because although he was raised with Jesus, he wasted a lot of time before he accepted him as Lord and Savior. In fact, he did not accept Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior till after the resurrection. I think he realized how much time he wasted on his own lust. I used to hear people copy Flip Wilson. Probably most of you don't know who he is, but when I was young, Flip Wilson was everywhere. And he always had the same thing, and everybody said this uh, when I was younger. They always claimed the excuse, the devil made me do it. He coined that. Flip Wilson did. But if the devil were to disappear, you and I would still go on sinning. You don't blame everything on the devil. You can't. We have to take personal responsibility after all. We are the ones that allow ourselves to sin. Last Sunday, we looked at salvation, and we talked about, for the lost person, personal accountability of what they do with Christ. And for the lost person, personal accountability with what they're doing with Christ after salvation. And we have personal accountability for our lust. And the devil didn't make you do it. You have your own lust your own inner person. I like what Adrian Rogers uses to make this point. A little boy spit on his sister, hit her with a broomstick, and called her a bad name. His mother asked, Johnny, why did you do that? That is so bad. The devil must have made you do it. He said, well, the devil made me call her a bad name and hit her with a broomstick, but spitting on her was my own idea. I think we have to admit that much of our own sins are our own ideas. Quit blaming it on the devil. Take personal responsibility, personal accountability, and stop it. Easy to say, harder to do. Thank you for joining us this Wednesday. God bless you.